p.m. Eastern time. So time for a video tutorial. Let me go ahead and do a refresh over here. I will never ever forget the day that I talked for 20 minutes thinking everything was working because I could see comments and nothing had been going on. So yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. All right, let me get kind of centered up here. I seem to be a little bit a little bit weirdy wonky, a little bit weirdy wonky. That's a word I just made up right there. So we're going to see what happens. Hey, Rocky. Hi, Robin. Hi, Marva and Lorraine. Appreciate you guys joining. And Renee. Hi, Jody. So this is a fun fold card. It is actually, I was trying to think of, um, I was trying to think of what to call this. And then I realized it's really just a joy fold card on its, on its, this way portrait. It's a portrait joy fold card is really all it is. And I've got some images from the under the moon set. That's a little piece of adhesive there. And I've got some stargazing DSP. Now the stargazing DSP is in the current annual catalog and it is retiring. You can now get a whole pack for $7.50. So that's a pretty good savings if you like this kind of celestial imaging going on there. And then I have used a sentiment from the new country flowers. I've obviously under the moon is also new, but I've also got uh, a couple of sentiments from the country flower sentiment set, or set. And then I put something on the back just so that there's room to write a note because it's kind of a small note card. All right. So pretty much a sneak peek of, you know, the new catalog, which is coming soon and a little bit of a say goodbye to some really pretty paper. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Everything will be on my blog tomorrow. Hi, Jean. Hi, Shirley and Carol and Becky and Rosie and Debbie and everybody and everybody. Hey, Amy. Uh, Nell. All right, so we're going to start with the card first before we start decorating. I am using Pretty in Pink, two pieces of it. I've got my, um, this is uh, my brain just went crazy. This is four inches by eight and a half. And then the small little card on the front is two and a half inches by eight and a half. And I'm going to pull out my trimmer here. We're going to do a couple of scores first. You could use a scoreboard if you want, but since the, I like to use the trimmer when I don't have multiples that require me to extend the arm of the trimmer, mostly because there's just not enough space by the time I have my stand and my computer and all the stuff. So I would pull out the scoreboard if I, if I felt like it, but I really don't need it. So we're going to score and fold this one at five and one a quarter. Don't do it at five and a half. Don't do it at five and a half, five and a quarter. Make sure to use the gray blade or you will cut. And then the other one we're just going, going to score in half. So that's going to be at four and a quarter. All right. Pretty straightforward because you've just made your joy fold right there. Done. That's it. That's all there is to it. So the base folds up. So that would be a valley. And then this one folds, you know, regular. So you can decide if it's a mountain Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low. You can call it whatever you want, but it's just regular, okay? And they're just going to fit like that, all right? And I'm going to place them on a Knight of Navy card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it is regular card size, which means this whole thing fits in a regular envelope. Okay, doke. Okay, so that, so that, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and put some of our stargazing DSP on here. And I picked a couple of uh, images that I liked for to go with my setting sun and then on the inside, my moon. It worked for me when I came up with it. So, you know, humor me on this. No, that is not Rocky Mountain High. Come on, Rocky. <sighs> Gosh. John Denver never sang that song. Okay, here we go. So basically, you could add another mat, but because of the, the layering going on here, these cards, these little card base pieces, actually sort of act like a mat, if you know what I mean. Because when I put it on like so, then it looks like it's matted, you see? So you really don't need the additional layer of, of matting. If you want to, you can, but you know, it's already got quite a few layers, so. All right, and then this one just goes on the inside. 
and then we're going to decorate our little white pieces before we start putting everything together. All right. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I see what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down finally. I mean, I'm slow. I'm slow. Let's just acknowledge it. All right, so I've got a couple of pieces of uh, basic white DS, uh, DSP cardstock, and they're two and three eighths by four and an eighth. And I'm going to start making my little scene. I'm, we're going to have a scene. I'm going to set a scene or cause a scene, depending on how you'd like to look at it. And what I'm going to do first, in fact, why don't I do the inside as well? Because both inside and outside require some water. So let's do that. I'm going to take this water image. And this is a distinctive set, um, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to ink it up in misty moonlight. And then I'm going to take my sponge dauber and I'm gonna dauber it. And I'm doing that for two reasons. First off is to just kind of push that ink in so that I don't get ink on the raised parts that they have put in. I don't get too much ink, let me rephrase that. Too much ink on the inked parts that the Stampin' Up! designers have added to this to make it look like it's, it's water, all right? Now I will tell you, I stamped this about 30 times and finally I realized it's supposed to look this way. It's supposed to look like it's got movement. So, okay, also, when you do this, you want the the narrow end at the bottom. And all I did was just line that narrow end up with the bottom of the piece of cardstock and stamp it, okay? And when we'll do that again, because that's gonna be the same on the inside. And this is a good technique, This tamping, daubing, tapping, whatever you want to call it, when you're using images that are designed to give like the distinctive sets, all right? It kind of helps to pull ink off and also push it down in so it becomes a little less um, bumpy. And the need to do it may very well depend on the ink color you're using and the, and your ink pad, the juiciness of it. So that's why an, a grid paper is so great. When you first get a stamp set, I highly recommend that the first time you use it is not on your expensive cardstock. Use it on your grid paper and see how it looks for, how it looks for. That's not a word, okay? How it looks for is not even a thing. <sighs> Gosh, okay. So I can put that away and I'll put my dauber away and I'm gonna put the ink away. All right, now we're going to make, I'm going to put this aside, that's gonna be my inside. So for the outside portion, I am going to use some Daffodil Delight and some Calypso Coral. Wait, where did Calypso Coral guy go? Hang on a second, wait, wait. I'm missing a dauber. Oh, Calypso Coral Dauber. Where did you go, Dauber? I thought I had all the Daubers out, but, oh, dork. It's right in front of me. Gosh. Oh, I scare myself sometimes. Okay, now, to stamp our sunset, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the whole thing with Daffodil Delight. And then I'm gonna take my Calypso Coral Dauber and I'm gonna add it to the outer portion of the bottom. So just this portion, okay? Cause that's gonna be kind of like the, the sunset portion. Now, while I'm doing this, you need to be singing Aloha. Okay, and then, oops, oops, oh. Okay, because I want to see how that's going to look, I'm going to stamp it on my, yeah, I like that, okay? Tip, clean your stamp, okay? And yes, of course, I know that it's going to be different the second time, but I know that what I did was going to make me happy, so. But you don't want to stamp that uh, coral back into your, into your ink pad. Ask me how I know. Well, we were waiting for weather, 
but it looked like very early in the evening, it started looking like it was going to pass us by. So between the radar and my husband telling me it was all going to be okay, and the fact that the local news was barely was barely breaking into any of the programming, I, and my stomach wasn't saying, oh my gosh, something bad is fixing to happen, I went to bed. All right, so you just want to line the bottom of this up with the bottom of, or the top of the ocean. All right. Dobberinging. There it is, dobberinging. There you go. Okay, so there's our sunset. Our sunset. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're going to get a lot of singing today. All right, now we're going to stamp some fresh freesia clouds. Yes, fresh freesia clouds. Mm hmm. And there's a very pretty fresh freesia cloud image for your cloud making pleasure. And you can see how pretty it's going to stamp, just like that. And I'm going to stamp it a little bit there. And a little bit there. And I think that's all I'm going to do because then. I'm gonna take a small blending brush, and this has misty moonlight on it, but not a lot, okay? It's pretty pretty dry. And I'm just kinda of going around the clouds and the sun, just barely, okay? You may not actually even be able to see it on the camera, but I'm gonna hold it up here in just a second. Okay, now you, now you should be able to see how that is now, um, blue. Here, I'll show you. Can you see the difference? There you go. It's very faint, but it's enough so that you know that there's in fact a little bit of sky going on there. Okay. And then our final thing, our final thing is, well, there's two final things, two final things. I'm going to take my Misty Moonlight Inca and I'm going to stamp a jumping dolphin. Un jumping dolphin. One Perfect little jumping dolphin. He is perfect. I mean, he is a perfect jumping dolphin. Hey, Karen, appreciate you coming. I'm glad you like watching live. And he is gonna be right about there. And what he is gonna be doing is sending a little love from the country flower set. Now, you're probably thinking, Mary, I can't even see that sentiment. Well, I can assure you, you can see the sentiment when you are live and in person. It's right there, all right? But it really, I gotta take this little sweater off. Sorry, guys. Yay, Lynn, under the moon coming tomorrow. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put this away before I do something so silly. And I could, people. I could do silly. I can do silly better than anybody you know. I'm just saying. Like, I can stick the wrong blending brush in the wrong ink pad quicker than you can blink. And you'll be going, no! And I can't hear you because of how you're on Facebook. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to just adhere this little guy to the front of our pretty in pink card base. And again, if you would rather have a mat, you can certainly do that. I would just cut this down by an eighth of an inch both directions and add your mat in. But I don't think you need it. So let's set that aside. And now I'm going to make the innards. And as you can see, the innards, the sun has set. The sun has risen and the sun has set. And we are not in Texas yet. That's not exactly how it goes. But I'm going to stamp my uh, moon in some smoky slate. And it's going to barely touch the surface of the water. Let me get my smoky slate going in here. Storms and laundry. That is that is like a double whammy of yuck. We actually, I'm going to say, even with all of the red that was coming our way, um, we didn't even hear any thunder. I, I slept through any thunder that there might have been, if there even was any thunder. I don't know. And, and, and it was lovely because we got to sleep with the windows open because it was raining, and so the pollen has was really knocked down. Now it is not raining, and the sun is coming out, and so I'm anticipating having to shut the house back up because I'm sure that the um, 
<laughs> that the pollen is going. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, so let's just see how this looks so that we know that we're getting a good image and that I don't have like a dimensional or a speck of something on there. Nothing worse than having a speck of something on your stamp. Okay, now I'm just going to center this up and I'm gonna have it just about touching the water. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to stamp another sentiment Yes, I was, you of all people know how happy I was to not get that. Yes, no, I don't do those at all well. Okay, so I have Sending Love on the front and So Lucky to Know You on the inside. And that is, um, they're both from Country Flowers, which is a wonderful new um, suite. It's part of the Country Woods suite in the new catalog. There we go. And you know... I do believe that even when we are sleeping, the dolphins, they play. So this dolphin is still jumping because he's so cute. I can't help it. He has to be there. He just has to be. Oh my gosh. I love him. Favorite image ever, ever right there. Favorite image ever. All right, so now we're gonna put this on the inside of our little tiny card base. I love joy folds. Joy folds are for me similar to a book fold. They look really cool, and only you have to know that they're so stinking easy, right? Nobody needs to know. You don't need to tell everything. You don't have to tell every secret. When people, when your recipient opens it and goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, uh, well, I should have done this, see? Okay, I'm going to be very careful because I did want to add a little bit of blue here. Just a little bit. I'm trying to do it without getting it on my mat. Everybody hold your mouth just right. Hold your mouth just right. I can't, I shouldn't talk while I'm trying to do that. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Whew. Almost messed that up. That could have been very bad. Okay, now that now we're ready. Whew. Any hooch, when your recipient gets it, you just smile very modestly like, yes, yes, I know. It is amazing. I, I would love to tell you how to do it, but it wasn't easy. Whew. Do you remember that commercial where the lady was in the kitchen and all of her family was out in the living room and she was cutting up those... I think she was cutting up those logs of cookie dough that you get at the grocery store. You know, she was cutting them and putting them out, and then she was baking them, and then she had the whole tray of them. And right before she went out, she poofed herself with flour, so it looked like, and made her hair look all worn, like she was all worn out. That's this. That's these folds, right? Just let them think it was very difficult. All right. Unless, of course, you're trying to persuade them that they want to start stamping and then show them how easy it is. And they'll be like, I could be a goddess, too. And you'd be like, yeah. All right. So now we're going to take a little bit of liquid glue and put it on the back of our little card. And don't get head up about where this is. Just center it in the back of this in the back panel. OK, just center it and it will work. I promise it's it's science. It will work. See, I, I, I wasn't even kidding. There you go. All right. Now, for the back, because there's really not a lot of room to write on there. Like, okay, any. Let me put my glue away. What I thought I would do is just give them, a, give the recipient or whoever is going to get this card to send, or even me, a spot to write a little note. Okay, we're going to stamp our fresh freeze of clouds a couple of three times. I love these images. I think they're so pretty. I'm not gonna go very far down because the whole point of this is to give some room to uh, <laughs> to write, all right? It would be silly to cover the whole thing. And then I'm gonna take that mostly dry, misty moonlight blending brush and I'm coloring kind of the whole panel very lightly but just kind of giving it a hint of misty moonlight blue and 
I'm not making an any effort at all to get rid of the swirls. I want the swirls there because I think it's given it a little bit of, it looks more, more sky-ish and less card-ish. Okay? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You can't, you cannot persuade me otherwise. You cannot say, Mary, you're just doing it because you're being a slob. No, no, it was on purpose, completely on purpose. Oops. Whew. Did you see that try to jump out of my hands? My goodness. Okay. And then on to a pretty in pink mat. And on to the back of our card. And do you guys have any idea how close to being done we are? We're very close. We only have our envelope. Why is that that? You know what? I probably first need to put this on the card base. <laughs> Y'all be like, I'm looking at that going, why is the back of this card pink and not blue? Hello? Probably because I'm yakking too much. I think that is the problem. Now, when I turn this over, it's going to look a lot more like what I think it should look like. Be a lot more like what I was expecting, like that. Because, <laughs> really, yeah. Okay, whoops. Only thing is, make sure you're putting it on right side up or your clouds will be upside down. And you'll be like that really bad TV show, which I watched all episodes <laughs> all three or four seasons called La Brea. Oh my God. Kind of a fun concept, but oh my goodness. The acting was so bad, but I watched it. Oh yes, I did. All right. So there's our card. And now let's do a little decorating of our envelope. And what we're going to do here is just put some of that color in this corner. And then, you know, I'm going to stamp me some dolphins. Because I love some. Hey, Tina, stay safe. Hopefully you aren't in a pickle. Stay safe. Be safe. All right. We're just going to... This guy is in a whole pod of jumpers. And this guy is jumping right off of the corner. Actually, the other one only got three, but this one's going to get five. Like that. Because they're so fun. All right. Now we'll put a little more of that stargazing DSP. Remember, $7.50 right now before it's gone for a whole pack of this beautifulness. And if you also have the uh, Reach for the Stars stamp set and dies, remember the DSP has planets that you can cut out with the dies. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. All right, here we go. Alrighty, so Under the Moon and Country Flowers, both coming in the new catalog. If you thought you were supposed to get a catalog and you haven't gotten it yet, give it one more day. People are getting them already, so they should start to be in your inbox, in your mailbox, not your inbox, your mailbox. If you are not my customer, but you would like to be and would like a catalog, go through my blog and ask and you shall receive. And there we go, everybody. A couple of pretty fun cards. Pretty quick, pretty easy. I will be back on Saturday. Do I know what I'm making on Saturday? No, no, I do not. I know what I'm making on the 10th of May, but I do not know what I'm making on Saturday. So y'all have a great rest of your week and a good start to your weekend, and I hope I will see you on Saturday. Thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. Bye-bye.